Today I'm working on the exhaust. So I'll be fabricating the exhaust tubing coming from the turbo. This is a flange connects with a V-band to the turbo. It's a five inch flange. I've re reduced it down to four inches and then down to three. And then I'm gonna run three inch tubing out this way. Um, and then I haven't de decided exactly how I'm gonna run it down that way, but uh, that's what I'll be working on today. So I've taken this together here. So obviously that goes down. Now I'm trying to decide where to put the muffler. It's a big muffler to hopefully make it as quiet as possible. So the considerations are I want it somewhere out of the way so kids or anybody don't get burned on it. I also have to consider where the rest of the cage is going to go for the rudder, rudder supports and things like that. So there's going to be a fair amount going on. I think what the plan is right now though is I'll put it around here, have the tailpipe come out just about level with the transom. So now I just have to connect that 90 down to this. To mount the exhaust tubing, I have these stainless steel hangers. These are from Summit Racing. Um, they were just cheap. I don't remember exactly how much they cost, but I think they were pretty reasonable. I'm just going to weld it to the, so this is a stainless muffler. All the exhaust tubing after the turbo will be stainless. So I'll weld it to that and then I'll make uh, the hangers probably out of aluminum to attach to this and uh, that'll support the entire exhaust system. Okay, so this is where the muffler is going to go, at least uh, for now. I might have to change it later, but we'll start with this. So what I have to do now is this exhaust is coming down through here. So I'll bring this across and link it into there.
So here's the uh, exhaust. So as mentioned, three inch coming down. I got a V-band here. After the V-band, a couple transitions. There's a flex, and then of course the muffler. The muffler is supported by the two brackets there. Right now I actually just use this tape just to hold these in place. I got them tacked. I'll take all this down now, do the final weld, and then put it back together. And then the next thing I'm going to do is from the wastegate, I want to bring it into here before the V-band. So I have a few bends that we'll see what lines up. It's a bit tight to bring it, so this isn't... This can rotate any way that it needs to at this point. I probably will though bring it around this way and then bring it into there on the top. This is the last piece, it's all welded. So now I'll just put it all together. All right, so the exhaust is pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. There's a couple things I'm gonna do still, but I'm happy with how it all lays out. The two things that I have to do still is on the wastegate here, I'm not happy that there's a little bit of tension because there is no flex between this v-band and the v-band on the wastegate so i'm concerned that it might affect the ceiling on one of these v-bands and most likely be that one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add another bellows into this two inch pipe coming from the wastegate back into the exhaust now the other thing that i'm going to do is i still need a tailpipe so i'm happy with how the muffler is the reason I haven't put a tailpipe on it yet, I haven't decided exactly how I want it to sit. And I am going to adjust that transom a little bit more. But that'll be easy, whatever I choose there. Basically, it's done. Thanks for watching.